Chapter 40 The Forgiver In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Ha Meme The revelation of this book, the Quran, is from Allah, the Almighty, the All-Knower, the Forgiver of sin, the Acceptor of repentance, the Severe in punishment, the Bestower of favors. None has the right to be worshipped but He, and to Him is the final return. None disputes in the proofs, signs, and revelations of Allah, but those who disbelieve. So do not let their ability of going about here and there through the land for their purposes deceive you, O Muhammad. Their ultimate end will be the fire of hell. The people of Noah and the confederates after them denied their messengers, and every disbelieving nation plotted against their messenger to seize him, and disputed amongst themselves by means of falsehood to refute the truth. So I seized them with punishment, and how terrible was my punishment! Thus has the word of your Lord been justified against those who disbelieved, and they will be the dwellers of the fire. The angels who bear the throne of Allah, and those around it, glorify the praises of their Lord, and believe in Him, and ask forgiveness for those who believe our Lord. You comprehend all things in mercy and knowledge. So forgive those who repent and follow your way, and save them from the torment of the blazing fire. Our Lord, make them enter paradise, and the everlasting gardens which you have promised them, and the righteous among their fathers, their wives, and their offspring. Surely you are the Almighty, the All-Wise. And save them from the punishment, because of what they did of their sins, and whoever you save from the punishment, in spite of their sins on that day, Surely you have taken them into your mercy, and that is a supreme success. Those who disbelieve will be addressed, Allah's aversion was greater towards you in the worldly life when you rejected the faith than your aversion towards one another now in the fire of hell. You are now enemies to one another, and when you were called to the faith, you refused. They will say, O oh, our Lord, you made us die twice, and you have given us life twice. Now we confess our sins, so is there any way to get out of the fire? It will be said, No, because when Allah alone was invoked in worship, you disbelieved. But when partners were joined with Him, then you believed. The judgment is only with Allah, the Most High, the Most Great. It is He who shows you His proofs, signs, and revelations, and sends down rain from the sky with which grows provision for you. And no one remembers but those who turn to Allah in obedience and in repentance. So, call upon Allah, making your worship pure for Him alone. Do it regardless of however much the disbelievers in the oneness of Allah may hate. He is Allah, owner of the highest ranks, the owner of the throne. He sends inspiration by His command to any of His slaves He wills, that He may warn men of the day of resurrection. The day when they all come out, nothing of them will be hidden from Allah. Whose will be the kingdom on this day? It will be Allah's, the One, the Irresistible. This day every person shall be recompensed for what he earned. No injustice shall be done to anybody. Truly, Allah is swift in reckoning. And warn them, O Muhammad, of the day that is drawing near, when hearts will be choking throats, and they can neither return them to their chests, nor can they throw them out. There will be no friend or intercessor for the polytheist and wrongdoer. Allah knows the deception of the eyes, and all that the hearts conceal. And Allah judges with truth, while those to whom they invoke besides Him cannot judge anything. Surely Allah is the All-Hearer, the All-Seer. Have they not traveled in the land and seen what was the end of those who were before them? They were superior to them in strength, and in the traces which they made in the land. But Allah seized them with punishment for their sins, and they had none to protect them from Allah. That was because there came to them messengers with clear evidences, proofs, and signs, but they disbelieved in them. So Allah seized them with punishment. Surely He is all strong, severe in punishment. And indeed, we sent Moses with our proofs, signs, and revelations, and a manifest authority, to Pharaoh, Haman, and Korah. But they called him a sorcerer, a liar. Then, when he brought them the truth from us, they said, 
kill the sons of those who believe with him, and let their women live. But the plots of the disbelievers are nothing but blunders. Pharaoh said, Leave me to kill Moses, and let him call his law to stop me from killing him. I fear that he may change your religion, or that he may cause mischief in the land. Moses said, Surely I seek refuge in my Lord and your Lord, from every arrogant one who does not believe in the day of reckoning. And a believing man of Pharaoh's family, who hid his faith, said, Would you kill a man, because he says, My Lord is Allah, even though he has come to you with clear signs and proofs from your Lord, and if he is a liar, upon him will be the sin of his lie. But if he is telling the truth, then some of those calamities with which he threatens you will befall you. Surely Allah does not guide one who is a liar. O my people, yours is the kingdom this day. You are uppermost in the land. But who will save us from the torment of Allah, should it befall us? Pharaoh said, I show you only that which I see correct, and I guide you only to the right policy. And he who believed said, O my people, Surely I fear for you a fate like that day of disaster of the peoples of old. Like the fate of the people of Noah, and Ard, and Thamud, and those who came after them. And Allah wills no injustice for his slaves. O oh, my people, surely I fear for you the day when there will be mutual calling, a day when you will turn your backs and flee, having no protector from Allah. Whoever Allah sends astray, for him there is no guide. And indeed, Joseph came to you in times gone by with clear signs, but you did not cease to doubt that which he brought you, and when he died you said, Allah will send no messenger after him. Thus Allah leaves astray the polytheist, and one who doubts Allah's warning. They dispute about the proofs, signs, and revelations of Allah, without any authority coming to them. It is greatly hateful to Allah, and to those who believe. Thus does Allah seal the heart of every arrogant tyrant. And Pharaoh said, O Haman, build me a tower, that I may arrive at the reaches, the reaches of the heavens, and that I may look upon the God of Moses, for surely I think he is a liar. Thus it was made fair-seeming in Pharaoh's eyes, the evil of his deeds, and he was hindered from the right path. The plot of Pharaoh led to nothing but loss and destruction for him. And the man who believed said, O oh my people, follow me. I will guide you to the way of right conduct, and guide you to Allah's religion, which was sent to Moses. O oh my people, truly the life of the world is nothing but a quick passing enjoyment, and surely the hereafter is the home that will remain for ever. Whoever does an evil deed, he will not be recompensed except with the like of what he did. And whoever does a righteous deed, whether male or female, and is a true believer in the oneness of Allah, such will enter paradise, where they will be provided with all things in abundance without limit. And, O oh, my people, how can it be that I call you to salvation while you call me to the fire? You invite me to disbelieve in Allah and in His oneness, and to join partners in worship with Him of which I have no knowledge. And I invite you to the Almighty, the oft-forgiving. No doubt you call me to worship one who cannot grant me my request, or respond to my invocation in this world or in the hereafter, and our return will be to Allah. The polytheists and arrogant ones, those who commit great sins, the transgressors of Allah's set limits, they shall be the dwellers of the fire. And you will remember what I tell you, and my affair I leave to Allah. Surely Allah is the all-seer of his slaves. So Allah saved him from the evils that they plotted against him, while an evil torment encompassed Pharaoh's people. The fire, they are exposed to it morning and afternoon, and on the day when the hour will be established, it will be said to the angels, Cause Pharaoh's people to enter into the severest torment. And then they will dispute in the fire, and the weak will say to those who were arrogant, Surely we followed you, so you should take from us some portion of the fire. Those who were arrogant will say, We are all together in this fire. Surely Allah has judged between his slaves. And those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell, Call upon your Lord to lighten the torment for us for a day. They will say, 
Did there not come to you messengers with clear proofs and signs? They will say, Yes. They will reply, Then implore as much as you like. The invocation of the disbelievers is nothing but error. Surely we will make our messengers victorious, and those who believe in the oneness of Allah both in this world's life and on the day when the witnesses will stand forth on the day of resurrection. The day when excuses will be of no profit to the polytheists, wrongdoers, and disbelievers in the oneness of Allah. Theirs will be the curse, and theirs will be the evil abode and a painful torment in the hellfire. And indeed, we gave Moses guidance, and we caused the children of Israel to inherit the Scripture, a guide and a reminder for men of understanding. So be patient, O Muhammad. Surely the promise of Allah is true, and ask forgiveness for your faults, and glorify the praises of your Lord in the afternoons and the mornings. Surely those who dispute the proofs, signs, and revelations of Allah without any authority having come to them, there is nothing in their hearts except pride. They will never have the prophethood which Allah has bestowed upon you. So seek refuge in Allah, O Muhammad, from the arrogant. Surely it is He who is the All-Hearer, the All-Seer. The creation of the heavens and the earth is indeed greater than the creation of mankind, yet most of mankind does not know. And not equal are the blind and those who see, nor are equal those who believe in the oneness of Allah and do righteous good deeds, and those who do evil. Little do you remember. Surely the hour is coming, there is no doubt in it. Yet most men do not believe. And your Lord said, Call me, and ask me for anything, and I will respond to your call. Surely those who scorn my worship will surely enter hell in humiliation. Allah is He who has made the night for you, that you may rest, and the day for you, so that you may see. Truly Allah is full of bounty to mankind, yet most of mankind gives no thanks. That is Allah, your Lord, the Creator of all things. None has the right to be worshipped but He. Then where are you turning away by worshipping others instead of Him? Thus were turned away those who used to deny the proofs, signs, and revelations of Allah. Allah is He who has made the earth for you as a dwelling place, and the sky as a canopy, and has given you shape, and made your shapes pleasant to see, and has provided you with good things. That is Allah, your Lord. So blessed be Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. He is the ever-living, and none has the right to be worshipped but He. So invoke Him, making your worship pure for Him alone. All praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. Say, O Muhammad, I have been forbidden the worship of those whom you worship besides Allah, since there have come to me proofs from my Lord, and I am commanded to submit in Islam to the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. It is He who has created you from dust, then from a tiny drop, and then from a piece of coagulated blood. Then He brings you forth as children, and makes you grow till you reach the age of full strength and afterwards become old men and women, though some among you die before this. You reach an appointed term in order that you may understand. He it is who gives life and causes death. And when he decides upon a thing, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Do you not see those who dispute the proofs, signs, and revelations of Allah? How can they turn away from the truth those who deny the book, this Koran, and that with which we sent our messengers, they will come to know when iron collars will be rounded over their necks, and with chains they will be dragged along, and boiling water, then they will be burned in the fire, then it will be said to them, Where are all those whom you used to worship as partners besides Allah? They will say, They have vanished from us. No, we did not worship anything before. Thus Allah leads the disbelievers astray. That was because you were arrogant in the earth without any right, and that you used to rejoice in your error. Enter the gates of hell to abide there, and indeed what an evil abode for the arrogant. So be patient, O Muhammad. Surely the promise of Allah is true. And whether we show you, O Muhammad, in this world, some part of what we have promised them, or we cause you to die, it is to us they shall all be returned. 
And indeed, we have sent messengers before you, O Muhammad. Of some of them we have related to you their story, and of some we have not. And it was not given to any messenger that he should bring a sign except by the leave of Allah. So when the commandment of Allah comes, the matter will be decided with truth, and the followers of falsehood will be lost. Allah is he who has made the cattle for you, that you may ride on some of them, and some of them you eat. And you have many other benefits from them, that you may reach by their means a desire that is in your hearts, and on them and on ships you are carried. And he shows you his signs and proofs of his oneness, which then of the signs and proofs of Allah do you deny? Have they not traveled through the earth, and seen what was the end of those before them? They were more numerous than them, and mightier in strength, and in the traces they left behind them in the land. Yet all that they used to earn did not avail them. Then when their messengers came to them with clear proofs, they were proud of that which they had of the knowledge of worldly things, and that of which they used to mock surrounded them. Then when they saw our doom, they said, We believe in Allah only, and reject all that we used to associate with Him. But their faith could not avail them when they saw our doom. This is Allah's law, which hath ever taken course for His bondsmen. And then the disbelievers will be ruined. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al-Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al-Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the Hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.